Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title of today's video, today is going to be a New Year's Eve, very festive, very silvery, very like lavendery, glittery look. Today's eyes are definitely more on the dramatic side, I'm not gonna lie, but I think it's so badass. I feel like during the holidays, you guys get to really express yourself and you guys are really get to get creative and get intense and very glittery and very fun and very festive. People go out during New Year's and they like to go festive and they like to go hard in the paint, and I think that the makeup I'm wearing is definitely going hard in the paint. Look at this paint. The fuck? I hope you guys like it as well. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You guys know the drill with that because I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. But if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. But other than that, let's go and get into this New Year's Eve glam look. Hey guys, okay, let's go ahead and start this tutorial full face. We're gonna do a get ready with me style as I always do because I feel it's better, you know. You guys kind of get to get ready with me as well, so I think it's kind of a fun aspect of it. So let's go start this bad boy with a primer. I'm already moisturized. I'm gonna be taking the Natasha Denona Prime Magic Primer in the Anti Shine one. I literally just got this like two days ago. Take a little wallop, a little wallaby. Start in the T zone. It smells really good. It smells like skincare. Kind of smells like SPF a little bit, actually. It makes my skin feel pretty sticky, which could be the glycerin in it. I know this has glycerin. I feel so sticky. It's so weird. Okay. <clears throat> so for foundation, I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless with the Born This Way by Too Faced. I just really like this combination. I cannot wear the Too Faced by itself. It literally breaks up on me like an ex-girlfriend. Like, I just cannot. Or an ex-boyfriend, because I'm gay. I just cannot do it by itself. Like, I have to mix it with a mattifying foundation. And I really like the Maybelline one. Is that just me? I think I got way too fucking much. Holy tits. And then just go ahead and kind of start placing that on the face. I love this combination. I feel like it gives me like a very full coverage, but it gives me a nice like luminous skin like appearance. You'll see beauty blundering it out. How's everyone's Christmas? Oh my god, it's literally the day after Christmas. And I had such an amazing Christmas. It was so, so, so fun. I just had such a great time spending it with my family. I feel like I was very MIA off of social media. But that's also another reason why I liked it so much because I felt like I was just very connected with my family. I don't know if that makes sense, but it just felt really, really great to be close to my family and connected with them, and I just really liked it. I had a great time. How's your guys' So this is what the foundation looks like. I feel like this combination is so freaking pretty. Hopefully you guys can see it. It looks badass, I promise you. Hopefully the camera's picking it up like how it's supposed to be picked up. Camera, don't fuck with me. So let's go ahead and start concealing now. I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Forever HD Concealer in Y23. I have no idea when this comes out, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, I feel like I've been using this like constantly, but I have no idea when it comes out. I have no idea. It didn't come with like a little release date thing yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be coming out very soon. And I'm just gonna go and conceal with it. I really like it, honestly. I I really, really like it. It's lightweight, but it's full coverage, so it's like super weird. It's hard to explain. And then I'm gonna mix it with the Shy Beam by Benefit. You know, like the like High Beam and Sun Beam and stuff like that? This is Shy Beam, which is more of a pinky salmon tone. And I just really like it because it kind of reminds me of the brighteners from MAC. It kind of reminds me of those. And the packaging, like, are you joking? So fucking adorable. Let me show you guys up close. Packaging, slay my life. And then just start blending that away. Blends like a fucking dream. Again, die worthy. Look how it's so bright. I, I love this combination. Ugh. So before moving on, I'm gonna go and set the under eye really quickly. I'm gonna take my M438 by Morphe and the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then just set the under eye really quick, just so it doesn't crease on us throughout the day. So pretty, so bright, so luminous. Okay, now we're gonna go and set the face. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Loose Powder. <gasps> That is a mouthful. Naked Skin Urban Decay Ultra Definition Loose Finishing Powder. Say that seven times fast, it's not gonna be easy. And I'm gonna take a Morphe E41, which is their new Elite Collection Brushes dye. For this powder, I'm gonna start on the outer perimeters of my face and kind of work it in because it is a little bit darker, so I kind of want to keep it on the outer perimeters and then lightly set the other parts of my face. You know what I'm saying? And then while I'm powdered and ready to go, I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC25, and that's gonna go down my neck. It is hilarious that in my last tutorial you guys noticed that I put liquid down my neck because you guys know I don't like that. I just thought it was so fucking funny that so many of you guys pointed it out. Literally like people were saying like it's the end of the world, is it normal, is he okay? Like it was just the funniest fucking thing. I was dying. I wanted to say like I love it that you guys noticed that because that's so funny because you guys know me so fucking well. It's crazy. The only reason I even did it in the last video is because my neck was really really dry from the ultrasound from my at-risk double chin. Put liquid down it to make it not look so cracky. But I just thought it was so funny that you guys noticed that, and I love you guys for noticing it. Like, what the fuck? Cool, so let's go and start bronzing up the skin. I feel like I'm very flat-faced right now. So let's go ahead and take my Morphe M527. Love this bronzing brush. I think it's seriously such a good bronzing brush. I haven't used any other one since then because it has, like, that nice flat paddle appearance. I don't know, it's just bomb. And then I'm gonna take Hula by Benefit, of course. People are probably like, oh my god, we know you're gonna use that, fucker. Like, stomp. So I'm just gonna start putting that into the temples. And, you know, just putting it in the bronzing places. Just around the hairline. What was your guys' favorite gift that you guys got for Christmas? 
let me know in the comments. I just, I'm just really curious. Honestly, like, my favorite part about Christmas is giving gifts, and I love, like, when other people love their gifts, you know what I'm saying? So I really love knowing what other people got, like, this year was the best year of, like, my whole entire life. As you guys know, I always tell you guys that you guys have made my life so much more meaningful than what it was in the past. And so, um, I actually got to give my family gifts this year, and so it was just really cool. I never was financially stable enough to get them, like, nice gifts or just any, basically anything. I'd have to be really, really resourceful with my gifts before, and so this is the first year I actually ever got to get them something that I loved and that they loved, you know? And so it was really, really cool. I didn't even care what I got. I didn't ask for anything. I didn't want anything for Christmas, you know? I just wanted my family to be happy. I wanted my family to have gifts for the first time ever, like, because I never could afford that, you know? So... I, know, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas, and if you guys don't celebrate Christmas, I'm sorry for going on a tangent about it. And I'm just taking a Kat Von D, chain light. But yeah, honestly, it was absolutely amazing. I actually got an iPhone 6S from my family. I had been telling my mom and my dad and my whole family that I've been wanting an iPhone because my, like, right, mine right now is like breaking on me. And um, I needed a new iPhone like desperately. So I was like, fuck dude, I need to get a new iPhone. Like I was like desperate. Like I told my mom, I was like, mom, I'm gonna go get an iPhone right now. I need it, like this is like two weeks ago. I was like, I need a new iPhone, like mine's breaking. And I'm gonna freak out. Like I will freak if my iPhone breaks. Like I'm the type of person that will freak out about that stuff. First world problems, I know. Stupid manual, but whatever. No, but I'll like freak out about it. So she was like, manual, like, she's like, don't go right now because I feel like they're gonna have really, really great deals after Christmas. You should totally go then. So you can like save some money and I was like, you know what? I'm all about saving that fucking money though. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll wait it out. That's totally fine. So I was waiting it out, like even though my phone was fucking breaking on me, literally breaking. And I was like, mom, I cannot do this. I need a new iPhone. She's like, it's fine, it's fine. So then my first gift I opened, it was from my brothers, Nick and Aaron. From Nick and Aaron to Manuel, and I'm like, oh cool, cool. And so I opened it and it was the fucking iPhone 6. And I was like, what? And I'm totally made a scene because I was like so shocked. I was like, oh my god, like, you guys didn't have to do that, like, I would have bought my own iPhone, like, I don't want them, like, you know how it is, like, when you, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but I didn't want, like, my family spending money on me, you know, I was like, you guys, don't, like, don't do that, like, let me, like, let me take care of you guys, you know, like, let me, let me do that for you guys, don't, like, don't spend money on me, let me spend money on you, you know, I don't know, I'm just so weird, like, that's how I am, I just didn't want them spending any money on me, and I was, but I was so happy and so relieved, I was like, Thank you guys for that. It was just such a cool gesture. They really didn't have to do that, but they did. So I was like, you fucking whores. I didn't expect that. Sharpen the contour. Sorry, I feel like I'm not even talking. Like, I'm just like going on like super tangent mode right now. So sorry. This is definitely a chit chat right with me, clearly. And then I'm just taking a little bit of this shade right here. Sharpening out my contour a little bit. I don't feel like cooking today. Cannot find my highlighting brush anywhere right now. So I'm just gonna grab the Anastasia highlighting one. So I found a new highlighter that I really, really wanted to highlight with today. It's actually an eyeshadow. It's from Kat Von D. It's the Thunderstruck Metal Crush eyeshadow. I just saw it and I swatched it and I thought it was so beautiful and I thought it would go perfect with this look. When I swatch it, it's like a white with pink and gold reflect to it. Wait, I haven't even tried it on my face yet. Let's try it. Oh, oh, okay. That is gorge. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. These shadows are just so nice. And you guys know I, I love my golds. You guys fucking know I'm a gold bitch and I love gold, but I'm trying to adventure out and be brave, okay? Cool, so for the blush, I'm gonna be taking, I've just been using this blush all fucking month. It's gonna be my favorite. Oh yeah, it's going to. This is the Japanese blush in O2. This is their velvet blush. I just think it's such a perfect like blending blush color. It's not like too intense, it's not too crazy, but it's definitely gonna give you like a pop of a little something something. Let's just blend it on. It's fucking beautiful. And I love this blush because I feel like it blends my contour and highlight really, really, really nicely. It looks so basic in the pan, it really does. It looks like a basic ass shit. But on the face, it transforms. It transforms. Clearly my skin loves me because I just had a breakout last night. Cool. Okay, great, so now that we have the face completely done, I'm gonna do the brows and prime my eyes off the camera really quickly so we can start with the eyes, the fun part. I'm so excited, yay! Okay, I'll be right back. I did my own little custom palette. This is what I wanted to go off of today. When I think of New Year's eyes, I think of like, silver and purple and black and very very cool and intense and glam so that's kind of what i was going for with this little palette i did a custom one so let's go and start with this eye look now i'm gonna take beaches and cream of course favorite transition very very neutral transition which is what i wanted on an e27 morphe brush and that's just gonna go into the crease again this is a very just neutral transition shade this is gonna kind of help with my blending process going in with other colors especially colors like purple and things like that not everyone's like that it's all good but that is definitely what I like to do, you know? So next color we're gonna go in with is Petal Pusher, which is a new Makeup Geek shadow. It is a very just dusty, pinky petal color. It's literally like the perfect name, Petal Pusher. So petal. And that's gonna go into Morphe M433, and that's just gonna kinda go in to the crease, literally right over Beaches and Cream. Kinda make it a little bit more cool toned and a little bit more pinky. 
literally we're just gonna layer that and as you can see it just blends out so effortlessly when you have that base shadow down already first you know what i'm saying so now we're gonna go in with the shade curfew by makeup geek as well this is a much more concentrated purple it's like an eggplant purple color and that's gonna go in the same m433 and that's gonna go pushed into the crease Lower than Petal Pusher, okay? Basically the same methods that we were using for the bronze smoky eye for the holiday tutorial that I just did recently is the same exact method we're going to be doing with this eye. E27, blend the bitches out. Trust me, if you're at a New Year's Eve party and your eyes ain't blended, who the fuck you going to kiss at midnight? No one wants to kiss an unblended eye. That's Let's be honest. So now that we have this bad boy going on, this is what it should look like so far. Clear lid, nice purpley crease going taking a e36 pencil brush and crept by makeup geek which is a black matte shade you can use any black matte shade doesn't matter honestly as i said previously in my last tutorial you guys do not need to have the exact same shades that i have i'm just giving you guys color inspirations color palette inspirations um using a purple crease color and black in the outer corner just things like that um i just want you guys to get an idea of a tutorial you guys don't need to have these colors whatsoever um but luckily you make a geek shadows are only six bucks super nice taking an e36 pencil brush by morphe and correct, we're gonna put that on the outer corner. We're gonna make an outer corner V. Lower than we have the curfew purple shade. And then picking up a little bit more curfew, just kind of blending out the black, just to make sure that everything is really blended and diffused nicely. Now, after blending away some of the black with the purple, this is what you should have. I have a nice, just dark outer black outer corner with a nice purple crease. So we're gonna start going in with the fun stuff now. I'm gonna be taking a M421 by Morphe. I'm gonna be taking Starry Eyed by Makeup Geek. So this is gonna be my base shadow like I did for my other tutorial. So I'm just gonna kinda pull my lid taut a little bit and start packing on Starry Eyed. So as you can see, it's a very, very cool toned silver pink. As a base for Aurora glitter will be beautiful. And I'm also kind of using Starry Eye to kind of clean up the edges as well. This is what you should have so far, Starry Eye on the lid. You can keep it at this. If you don't want to do glitter, don't do glitter. It's all good. This is such a beautiful look by itself, but mom is excessive, so we're going to be using glitter. So before I bust out the glitter, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek Aurora Sparkler Glitter. There's been a lot of like speculation about these glitters, um, <laughs> about these sparklers, so I just kind of wanted to do a quick little like summary of my thoughts about them really really quickly because I know people are asking what I think about them so not all the sparklers have, are the same consistency some of them are pigment like glitter some of them are 3d chunkier glitter some are like flaky kind of glitters not all of them are the same thing which I think is what's confusing people they are all glitters but not all the consistency is the same so that's a little disclaimer real quick about the glitters also they do not have sifters inside of them because Marlena wanted to launch them before during the holidays because holidays is very like it's such a glittery time as you guys know like people like to wear glitters during the holidays she even said too, she's like, maybe it was a bad call on her part because not including sifters, which is, is annoying people because they are filled to the brim and it's hard when you take them out, some of it spills. So that's just kind of like my thoughts on them. Honestly, the pigment like glitters, those are my favorite ones. Aurora is a pigment like glitter. I don't like some of them, but I do like most of them. So that's just like my opinions on it. If you guys are interested, let me know and I'll give you my thoughts on the glitters, which ones are my favorites, which ones are ones I think you guys need. So um, Aurora is definitely one of the ones I think you guys need. I think it's stunning. You'll see right now because it's sick. Also, with them, you guys do definitely need a glitter glue base. They're not like a pigment. They're definitely more of a glitter. They're finely milled. Some of it will stick to your skin, but you want to use a glitter glue. That's just my opinion. That's just like how I recommend using it. For example, the Too Faced glitter glue, amazing glitter glue. That's what I use. So that's what we're going to be putting onto our lids right now. I'm just going to pack it on with that same Morphe brush, the M421, over Starry Eyed all the way up. Now be careful opening these because it I swear it will spill on you. So just be cautious with that. Kind of annoying, not going to lie. I'm annoyed by the fact that they <laughs> don't have sisters in it, but just one of those things, you know. So start packing on the Aurora glitter. Oh, stop. Aurora is a hybrid silver and lavender glitter. And I think it is stunning. So beautiful. I'm gonna go and finish the other eye off of camera real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, great. So I went ahead and I did eyeliner off of camera. I know it kind of looks quite different coming back from like the last clip to this. So what I ended up doing is I grabbed the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I just did a normal wing. And honestly, I was kind of doing it and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to make it a little bit more extreme. So I added like the little like front beak to it as well. I just grabbed the tip of it, just sketched out. Where I want to end, drag it in. That's all I did. It's really, really easy to do. Do not even trip about it. You do not need to do the step. It's very excessive. You don't need to do it, but I needed to be really, really close to the mirror to do it. So I had to do it off of camera. So I was like, fuck, I'll get better. I will get better. So now I'm gonna grab a Morphe E43, which is a very, very small little shader brush. And I'm gonna grab a mixture of beaches and cream and petal pusher. And we're gonna start to create a new little area 
on our inner part of our eye. And then grabbing curfew, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna tight line that closest to the lash line. E18, blend that out on the outer corner. Now grabbing Corrupt and the E43 again, I'm gonna place that on the outermost corner. And now taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue one more time, and that's gonna go in between the beaky part of my eye and the new little like lower lash line area. I'm just gonna put a little bit there and pack on some more Aurora glitter underneath the lash line. I guess we're going real glitter ham today. So you should have something like this. It's a nice little just pop of glitter down there and then grabbing the Tarte Inner Rim Liner in the nude shade. I'm gonna put that on the waterline just to kind of open up the eye a little bit more. And you should have this as your eye. I'm gonna go to the other eye off the camera and I'll be right back. Perfect, so we have both eyes completely done. I went ahead and I put on mascara and I put my lashes on off of camera. And the combination of choice, okay, this is what I always use whenever I say like I put on my mascara off of camera. What I'm talking about is I use Roller Lash on the top mascara from Benefit, and I use the Extended Play Giga Black Lash from MAC on the bottom mascara. These are my favorite mascaras combination. So freaking bomb, I die for them. And then the lashes I'm wearing are New Bound Some Serengeti. They're like a 3D silky, kind of intense, flary kind of lash. They're not like the Bellas, the Bellas that curl upwards. Those are 3D mink and they go up. These kind of stick out a little bit more farther, so. Yeah, I love how this eye looks. I think it's so dramatic and so intense, but I haven't done this really dramatic, intense look in so long, and I hope you guys like it. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in to see what the final eye looks like up close. Perfect, so now we have the face completely done. I'm gonna go and do the lips now, and we'll be done with this look, yay. So recently I got into the mail Kathleen Light's new Where the Night Is collection, and I really wanted to use two of her colors, because I love Kathleen, and I really, just wanted to try these colors out. I'm gonna be using in the shade Aquarius, which is a very neutral nude shade. You can do so many lip shades with this look, but because I am definitely really dramatic on the eyes, I love doing dramatic eyes, as you guys I'm sure have noticed. So I'm gonna do a more subdued natural lip, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using ColourPop Aquarius Lippy Pencil and Lippy Stick by Kathleen Lanes. Have you guys ever tried the ColourPop Lippy Pencils? Because they are so good. This lip pencil looks like my lip colorful. That's fucking weird. Because our lippy stick is a little bit more of a cream sheen finish, um, that's what I saw, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my entire lip with the lippy pencil, like so. And then I'm gonna go in with Aquarius Cream Lipstick. Lippy pencil, that's what I mean. This lipstick is beautiful, Kathleen. Holy fuck. And this is what the final look looks like. And that's it. That's it for my entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating this video for you guys, honestly. I love New Year's Eve. I love Christmas. I love, like, the holiday time. It is so fun and so festive. Honestly, 2015 has been one of the best years of my entire life. I always say it all the time, especially, like, towards the end of the year. I'm getting so sentimental because this year has been so great. And I just wanted to really share how much I love you guys and appreciate you guys and hope you guys loved your 2015 as well and I know that 2016 is going to be such an awesome year for us. 2016, my palette is going to launch 2016. It's been such a struggle with the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette coming out in December. I was so sad when we couldn't get it out during December because of the lab problems. We really didn't have any, we really didn't have any choice in the matter. We really didn't have any say. We literally tried our hardest but sometimes shit happens, and you know what? You live and you move on, you know? It's not the end of the world because my palette didn't come out in December. Hopefully it's gonna be out in January, that's the goal. I'm pretty sure it's going to be, so I better start filming some tutorials with it. <laughs> everything I talked about and everything I used in today's video will be linked down below, as everything always is. You guys know my descriptions are pretty, pretty on point. I love you guys so fucking much. Thank you to my maniacs for making this year amazing, and I know we're gonna make 2016 so amazing, and I have some really cool stuff planned in 2016 that I can't really talk about yet, but you guys will die. And in a good way. You guys will like be like get killed and then risen. That's how good it's gonna be. And here's to many more years for our future together, Manny and Maniacs. You know? Um, but yeah, other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye you guys, I love you. This look makes me feel so fucking cat like full. Like Hala Caddy. I mean not catty, like like kitty, not like catty, like a bitch catty. I mean that too, because I feel kinda bitchy with this look. Cause it looks fucking sick, fool. Fuck what means you will happen to your ass. Paddle appearance. I don't know, it's just bomb. I swear to God, if someone texts me one more time, stop. Two. Oh, it's looking so purple and so fucking festive. Why is spelling definitely so hard? I. So we real close and personal, bitch. We are real fucking close, huh? Today is definitely more of a like. Huh. Sorry. Today's very much more of a who. A what? A who? The fuck? On October 3rd, she asked what day it was. It's October 3rd. 
Hey guys, okay, let's go in. No, this lighting fucking sucks. Stomp. <laughs> use all y'all. I use all y'all hoes, okay? Why am I so ghetto today? What the fuck? Kind of go through the motions with me, and you guys kind of, kind of, you guys kind of get. What the fuck? Why can't I say that word? <laughs> I am his woman. 